when I lived together with him in San Francisco, he was a, he was a funny kind of a guy. The first time we sat down to eat, eat for, <laughs> for example, he was sitting opposite me at a table and he started just eating off my plate. He didn't say, do you mind if I taste this? <laughs> but it was like, I don't know, he was just this kind of sometimes voracious kind of animal, really, in a way. And yet at the same time, there was times where he was, uh, he was a real gentleman. He, he, he uh, his house was, uh, you ask how he lived, uh, his home was very, um, Jeff Haller described it, I think, the best of anyone I, I've met. It was a, a library with a bed in it. It was just where books everywhere, and he had read them, and he had a photographic memory. He was, and many people tell stories about how you'd ask him a question, and he'd say, well, there's, um, there's a green book on da 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 shelf, and if you go to the fourth chapter, then that's your answer. I mean, I would ask him questions like that, and he would do that, and then I'd say, when, how long ago did you read this book? And he'd tell me, oh, maybe five years ago or something like that. And other people would tell you the same thing. So it was, it was a bed, you know, it was very humble, very simple, you know, in a certain kind of way, full of books. He had a, a wonderful older lady. He admired her because she used to come and clean his, uh, the apartment. And he just loved how, how agile she was and get on her knees and do like that. And, he was, he, had, he was a mix, a mix of a lot of things, like the room that I stayed in, in the back part of the, of the house was, oh, it's hard to describe, it was full of, it, he, I don't know, maybe because he never, you know, he lived through, through difficult times, so he saved anything, and he, but he was the most curious human being I've ever encountered. Um, the room that I lived in, well, I, I'm curious too. I was curious, what kind of a guy is this that I'm living in his mm -hmm. house? So I would go through some of those drawers in that room. Oh, you know. really? Of course, of course. I mean, I, I, of course. Well, Moshe, look, it was nothing strange to to go to some place, some people's house with Moshe, and he would disappear for ten minutes, and then where is he? He would be upstairs going through their closet, or he'd be going to <laughs> No, seriously, to see how they live. He was curious. He was a curious guy.